I'm not sure that I can be bothered with the wall, really. Is there anybody out there? The memories. The madness. The music. The movie. The wall. We don't need no education. British big influences, as you know, are possibly teaching, school, the war, and madness. <laughs> and that's what he's written about, basically, for the whole of his life, whole of his career. I sort of knew that really we, we were over as far as the Band of Brothers notion of the pop group was concerned. We just weren't anymore and we were never going to be that again. cinema audiences began to see the trailer you have just witnessed. The film itself finally opened in July 1982. The movie was the last part in the epic vision for a three-part project conceived by Roger Waters. A project which spanned the making of an ambitious double album, a colossal stage show, and a full-blown cinema film. The launch of the film represented the culmination of five years of artistic struggle, which had caused quite literally blood, sweat, and tears. But there was also artistic triumph and critical disaster. The basic idea behind the whole thing really is that if you isolate yourself, you decay. It's a bizarre and weird fusion of live action storytelling uh, of the serial. I think we did a damn good job on it. But, um, sort of slightly lacks soul for me. This is the independent critical review of the three, three stages, stages of the development of the war.